Okay, so today's recipe, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make grilled, actually I'm gonna stick it into the air fryer, but uh, grilled onigiri balls that are topped with this, um, kind of like this miso sauce on top. Uh, onigiri um, is a Japanese, kind of like, it's just like a rice ball snack. Um, sometimes you'll see it in balls, sometimes you'll see uh, people have it in these triangles. So if you have a mold, you can use this. If you don't, um, you can actually shape it into that shape and then, you know, put in some seaweed or whatnot. Um, what I like about it is that it's quite, even though it is in this like snack pack format, um, you can put stuff in it so that you can turn it very much into, you know, quite a nice lunch, like bring two or three. Sometimes they're in the shape of balls, but then sometimes they're in this triangular shape. So uh, if you have a mold, you can use it. That can be quite fun with kids or whatnot, but you can also just form it into triangles with your hands. So uh, I think it's a really fun snack, lunch, uh, picnic food maybe, uh, as the weather gets better. So uh, I hope you all enjoy and um, yeah. So I'm using some short grain brown rice, which means I, I need to soak it. So I'm gonna soak it overnight. I'm gonna remove all of that lovely arsenic. Um, and then we're going to just cook it with, um, I'm gonna put in a little bit of red lentils just cause I, I want to get some protein and fiber into the rice as well. But you can do this with white rice. You can do this with like a mixed grain. You can do it with, you know, pretty much whatever you want. Um, and so we're just gonna do that and then I'm going to prepare some of the fillings while the rice cooks. I'm just going to season the mushrooms that I got with some of that shio koji that we made in an earlier recipe. If you don't have that, you know, some salt or, you know, just some seasoning for, for your mushrooms or actually whatever you want to put in the center of these onigiri balls. This is some sesame and we're going to start preparing the sauce. Um, I'm gonna put all of the ingredients down below. Uh, so it'll be a little bit easier. I'm just gonna mix the miso and the mirin together first because sometimes the miso gets quite thick and so once you thin this down it becomes easier to mix and also easier to spread. date sugar and the sesame or whatever you choose to maybe add in it might get a little bit thick I think this looks pretty good but you can always water it down uh, ever so slightly so very important now taste that's nice sometimes it gets a little bit salty just because of the miso in which case just you know water it down ever so slightly um, and you should be fine
I should let you know that I've cooked the mushrooms in the oven for a little bit. I don't know how long, but they're just roasted. Um, these are uh, prunes or like these are plums that I preserved last year just with like you know plums that I had and some salt uh, and then afterwards I um, they didn't really dry so well so I just I stuck them in the freezer and every so often I have you know uses for them but they're kind of like sour savory salty which is an interesting combination um, so yeah, I'm just taking the pits out of them. You probably don't need that whole amount, but yeah, just stick something in the center that you would like in the center of your rice ball. into the oven, kind of broil it a little bit, get it crispy, and then uh, get this bit kind of caramelized a bit. bit of tart savoriness on the inside but mmm this top bit is really good so I definitely think I don't know two two of these potentially three that's more than enough although you're gonna need some vegetables as well so 